Hey there, how do I sound? I'm just getting set up. Um, we got a really fun one today, and I've got to vote for you in just a second so we can actually decide what kind of dinosaur we're going to be making today. But before I even do that, I need to know how do I sound? How's everything going? How's your guys' Wednesday today? Am I too loud? Am I, Am I too soft? Let me know. I'll be on in just a sec. Okay, looks like we got good sign on how we sound. So now, we're gonna do something fun even before I go live. Um, we need to vote on which dinosaur we're gonna be designing today from scratch, never designed before. So, now in the chat, there should be a vote. And here's what we're voting on. Boop, there we go. Which dinosaur are we gonna be crocheting today? We're gonna let this vote go for a little bit uh, until after I do the introduction um, so we can have as many votes as we want, or as we can. The options are on screen now. The option is A, we'll crochet a Spinosaurus, which is like a big old dinosaur with a big uh, fin on its back. B is a Plyceosaurus, I think I said that right, which is kind of like an underwater um, kind of like a brontosaurus underwater. They're really cool. Uh, I just watched a documentary on them. They're really neat. Uh, C is the Parasaur... Parasaurolophus. Ooh, that's a, it's a mouthful to say, but it is a way cool dinosaur. It kind of looks like a duck-billed dinosaur. Kind of like, um, Ducky from, uh, from Land Before Time. And then D is, you know, you know it, you love it, the Velociraptor. All of these are options today. We're going to be doing it from scratch. I've never made any of these dinosaurs before. Um, I have, well, that's fine. I haven't made any of these dinosaurs before. So let me know which one uh, you think I should make by voting in the chat. And I'll be on in just a second. I just want to finish up. I'm eating a little bit of toast. So I'm going to eat that toast so I'm not so uh, super energy low. And uh, I'm going to vote, too. What am I going to vote for? I know what I'm voting for. Ooh, wow. It's a close call here. Cool. All right. I'll be on in just a sec.
All right, officially scarfed down a whole piece of toast in too long. It took me too long. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. One second. I forgot something. Okie dokie, artichokey. Let's rock. Und, let rock and roll. And click this button right here. All right. Music is a little bit, is it too quiet? I feel like the music's really quiet. Maybe it's just a song. Anyhow, hi everybody. How are you? Welcome to the live stream and happy Wednesday. Uh, and a very special congratulations to uh, Jenny, who just got married uh, on Sunday, congratulations! Everybody, a round of applause. Oh, congratulations. Um, all right. Uh, well, yeah, congrats. Congrats. Uh, happy Wednesday. Today we're gonna be making a dinosaur. Uh, you guys get to choose, and we're gonna be designing it from scratch, which should be pretty fun because uh, I don't know how many times I've actually like actively designed an amigurumi from scratch on the live stream. So let's talk about how you can support this channel, and then uh, just get rocking and rolling. That sound good? Let me have a. We're just gonna kind of go with the flow today. Hopefully it goes well. Um, and if it doesn't, well. <laughs> I'm sorry, my bad. Also, 70 people watching right now. Hello, everybody. That's a lot. Hello, everybody. Um, am I writing the pattern as I go, or would you like me to? I mean, Cooper, if you want to, I would super appreciate it. Uh, I will be writing the pattern afterwards. Uh, the plan is to publish this as a pattern uh, on the website um, probably in August, so I'll have to like test the pattern out a bunch of stuff like that before then. Um, but yeah, if you would like to help out, I would super duper appreciate it. So before we get going, let's talk about how you can support this channel. So the first way you can help support this channel if you'd like to is the easy, cheap way. Like and subscribe down below, especially while we have so many people on. Uh, please like this video. It helps this uh, channel get a little bit more attention and uh, is, you know, real easy, real cheap to do. Uh, so just like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And if you want to support monetarily, the best way to do that is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns, get access to the exclusive library of patterns. Next month, uh, oh, and they even get monthly kits mailed to their door each month. Um, so we add new patterns each month. There's over 200 now. This month's newest pattern that just came out this week was for a reversible unicorn, which is pretty awesome. I'm pretty proud of that one. Uh, and you can get a kit mailed to your door with everything too. Um, next month's kit is going to be an option between three kits. You get to choose between an octopus and squid, a uh, seahorse, or a sandcastle and beach ball. Um, the seahorse comes also with like a sea, uh, a seaweed stand that you can actually like have it like sitting on a seaweed stand. It's way cool. Um, we're going, you know, under the sea, which should be pretty fun. I'm excited to uh, see how it goes though. And uh, yeah, so that's some ways you can help support. You can also help support by purchasing merch and kits in the store. We've got a bunch of cool merch. We've got uh, new pins. We got new rainbow pins. We got a burb pin. I'm gonna work on a dinosaur pin too. Uh, and then we've got, of course, our regular pin. We've got, I think, a couple more as well. We got a pink pin. Um, we got a bunch of different stickers, kits, of course. If you would like to purchase some kits, we have these new rainbow kits. Uh, for the dinosaurs that just are uh, for sale this month and I'm adding a bunch of new rainbow ones And then the last way to support if you would like to is with a donation If you'd like to uh, you can tip uh, me you can do that by just going to clubcrochet.com slash tip uh, You can use the super chat. That's gonna be the little dollar icon in the chat if you're watching this live and uh, Yeah, it helps support this channel and I'll put something out to say. Thank you today we're putting out a bunch of dinosaurs. Of course we're gonna put out a bunch of dinosaurs. We're making dinosaurs, why wouldn't we? And I've got a whole box full of them. So that should be pretty fun. Uh, we're gonna start with Jenny, thank you so much. I mean, let's go with the classic for you, you know? 
Let's go with the classic purple T-Rex. You know, the best the best of the best. Like, let's be honest. Look, look how awesome this pattern is. Now, I uh, am going to rework this pattern next month as well because I'm not really... I, I remade this. Like, I made this dinosaur, I think, like last week. And I realized that this color change part of the pattern is so confusing. So I'm going to rework work it and try to rework the written version of the pattern so that it's a little bit more clear we're also reworking the all the pdfs to make them a little bit prettier as well so that's out for you uh and then of course we got cooper Coop, super cooper cooper uh and cooper thank you so much dino time <laughs> love you lou love you too cooper um we're gonna put out a, a very special one uh because i only have one of these um for you cooper uh, we got a few of these ones that I've only got, like, a few of them. Um, the Ankyliosaurus? I think that's how it's said. I kept saying Ankyliosaurus, but I think it's actually pronounced Ankyliosaurus. Uh, so this pattern is not out yet. It should be out, uh, in, uh, in August with the brand new dino stuff. Um, but, yeah, it's really cute. Look at it. It's got, like, these little... Things. We got a little horns right here. I gotta remember how to do this. I haven't crocheted one of these since I crocheted this one. I do have the pattern written down though, so I should be able to test it. It's actually in the on the website, I think, in the rough drafts. Um, could I make a video on how to make a monomole that would really help you out? Yeah, definitely. I'll I'll work on that. I've been meaning to do that, so I will work on that um, for you soon. Uh, I'm trying to come up with a few different patterns this this month anyhow so that that could be a good one to do uh so i have all my materials here to make this we're gonna start by uh wow we have 107 votes i think that's enough to call it um i don't i don't think anything's gonna beat it so let's see what wins whoa pretty shocking not gonna lie the plesiosaurus won which is wild the plesiosaurus I'm actually really surprised. I thought for sure the Velociraptor was going to win. I mean, that's what I voted for, but that's all right. Uh, that means that we're going to be crocheting. Let me show you. Let's go back to this one real quick. That's going to be the one in the top right. It's going to be the ocean dinosaur. Way cool. And you know what? Should be. I, I got an idea exactly on how we're going to make this thing. So, first off, let's draw it. Uh, that's usually what I like to do when I... Uh, design stuff I mean it depends on what I'm designing uh, sometimes I like to just go for it but for this one we're definitely gonna need some stuff sewn together um, specifically the legs I think the body we can make almost we can we can use the brontosaurus pattern as like a rough draft I think we need to make the face a little bit different um, but I think that's a good idea for getting a general idea of the design um, yes, we don't have any water dinosaurs yet, so that's gonna be really cool I also uh, have another water dinosaur that I want to kind of try designing uh, Soon too, but this one is huh, gonna be fun. All right, so first we want to do uh, the face You know we want just like a little bit smaller so I would say like the brontosaurus is more like a rounded face This one's gonna be more like thinner of a face because they need to be uh, not aerodynamic water dynamic I don't really know what to say for that and then the body is gonna you know long neck really long neck we might even make the neck longer than the brontosaurus's neck and then the body comes out and then it's got a long tail too so it'll be something like that I think let's look at more pictures of them real quick plesiosaurus wow that's hard to say huh all right, yeah, and they have much more pointy of a nose. We might even make this a little bit, like, more pointy than that. That's okay. That's easy. The tail, in fact, most of the body, I think, once we get past the neck, will be very similar to the brontosaurus pattern, which will be nice. Um, and then for the legs, I know exactly how I'm going to make these legs. Um, I actually made a, uh, I was working on a sea turtle with similar legs. So it's basically gonna be like this and then like that and we're gonna do that for each one of these legs and that's actually gonna be a, a shockingly you're gonna love how I do this it's gonna be pretty not too crazy for the legs 
And then, obviously, we need eyes over there. Um, yeah, and if we want to try to get fancy, we could try doing color changes for the tummy, but that that might be really tough, I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie, that might be pretty tough. But that's a good that's a good starting design. Now, I have this pink yarn out to work on. I just thought the pink yarn would show up really well behind, in, with this in the background. And it would be nice uh, because it's really easy to count your stitches with uh, the pink yarn, which I really like to do for my rough drafts. I like to make it in a yarn that's really easy for me to, to pick out the stitches specifically um, because uh, after I'm done designing it, I usually like to, uh, to you know count my stitches, look back at what my pattern's like and work that way. Now, normally I think I do the body first but you know what let's try doing let's try starting with one of the fins because I have an idea on how that'll work I think six millimeter eyes by the way I think that's a good size for the eyes they actually have very small faces uh, small eyes it looks like but yeah I think we'll start with the fins because I have a really fun idea for that and we'll see if that works we'll just make one of them and then we'll make the body and then we'll make the rest of the fins around that. Um, yeah, for the first design, we should just do it in one color. I totally agree, Sarah. By the way, Danielle, thank you for asking. If you want to become a Club Crochet member, you just got to go to clubcrochet.com. And there should be a little button there that says, like, uh, sign up for a membership. Let me, um, let's see if we can find a better color for this. Since it's going to be an underseat creature. Maybe more like... How does this pop up in the background? That's a little too close, maybe. I'm looking for kind of a blue, though. Kind of feel like... You know, I I don't think I have a... I, do, I don't think I have a blue that's gonna... Yeah, that's gonna blend into the background a little too much. We'll just do pink. We'll do pink. Everybody likes a pink dinosaur. Who doesn't like a pink dinosaur? Um, yes, we could do the fins like petals. But that would make them pretty flat. I actually have a, I think, an easier idea for that um, that we're going to try. Um, I actually have a, I got a couple of, couple of ideas. So we're going to start with the fins. The fins, um, I think this will work. We're basically going to make a disc, like a very flat piece of crochet. And then we'll, uh, we'll sew it flat together. We'll see how that goes. We might need to add some like increases and decreases here and there, but I think that'll work. So I'm gonna start with, um, ooh, what was that color called, the blue? This one, Tess? I think this one is uh, seafoam green. I think that's what it's called. I use it for ogres a lot. It's, my, it's the color I really like using for ogres. But um, yeah, all right, so we're gonna start with the fins. I'm just doing, um, uh, six single crochets in the first round and I'll do like a color I'll do like a I'll try to use a stitch marker normally I don't really like using stitch markers um, when I'm designing because it makes me feel a little bit more freeform but I think it might be uh, pretty useful for this one so we'll go with this yellow as our stitch marker and I'm just gonna put it straight to the center like that and then pull it nice and tight All right, this is obviously way more yarn than we're gonna need, but that's okay. Yeah, so I think the beginning is gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna do six single crochets for the first round, and then we'll increase up to 12 in the second round. Um, one of the things that I, I like to do when I design my uh, patterns, especially when I design the dinosaur patterns, because dinosaur patterns, a lot of, um, uh, a lot of people that um, start crocheting really like to crochet dinosaur patterns, which of course they do. Dinosaurs are amazing. So one of the things that I really want to focus on, especially with this dinosaur, is trying to make, trying to add a lot more simplicity to it. Because when you're first starting to crochet, it would be a real bummer if you came to this pattern and you're like, wow, I want to make this, but it's way too complicated. Um, and I think in the second volume of Dinosaur Patterns, because we're going to be doing a whole volume uh, like we did for our first one, 
I'd like to add a lot of simplicity to it. Uh, because like in the first group of patterns, there's the Triceratops, the Stegosaurus, the T-Rex, and the Brontosaurus. And all of those, save for the T-Rex, are very simple. Well, they're not that simple, but they're relatively simple patterns. They don't take too much complicated stuff. The T-Rex is a challenge, no question there. That one is a hard pattern. But, you know, it's kind of nice to have something that has a little bit more challenge. In the second volume, we're definitely going to have uh, the Ankylosaurus right here, which is a pretty complex pattern. That one's going to be pretty tough to make. So I don't... Uh, so that's... Yeah, that's going to be the start. And then for the second pattern, we're going to do the Pterodactyl, which I also have a rough draft for. You should see it in a little bit. Um, and then... Uh, and then we want to do this one, which I think we should keep a little bit more simple because the Pterodactyl is not that complicated, but it's a little bit more complicated. And then the last one that we want to do... Uh, I'm not sure what we'll do for the last dinosaur. Maybe like a... Velociraptor or something. What was the second highest voted? Did anybody remember? Oh, here it was. Second highest was the Spinosaurus. Wow. I'm actually kind of glad that one didn't win. I was the only one in this series of, of ones that I was like, I don't know how to do that one. But basically, see, look. We're just going to fold it in half like that once it gets bigger, and that'll make our fin. We'll just sew it together. In fact, we might even be able to just crochet it together, which will save us even more time. So I'm just going to increase it up again. We did um, we did six stitches for the first round. We increased up to 12. Um, I'm actually just going to cut the yarn, cut the stitch marker. We only I'm only going to mark the very first one, and I can just follow it up. That way it'll be a little easier for us to manage. <laughs> Cat, Cat says she lives for this music. Feel it. I feel it. Yeah, see, the first crochet pattern that Cat followed was the Triceratops. And I, I think that a lot of people uh, feel similarly. So keeping it somewhat simple, I think, is, is key. And this is a great way to make a very simple fin that I think will be a very good shape for what we're making. Um, oopsies, almost forgot to increase there. Yeah, so we increased back up to 18. I think this might be big enough for what we're working with, but we'll see. And then see, we'll just fold it in half like that. And I think that will kind of work for what we want. We might do one more round here, uh, but you see how it's gonna be kind of thin like. Let's see what a brontosaurus, let's see how big the body of the brontosaurus is gonna be, um, because this is what we can use as kind of like a, a template um, for knowing if we wanna make this these fins bigger or not might be good maybe too small though maybe too small let's see if we do um ooh, claudia great question and casey how are you um how was my weekend my weekend was good i actually went to vegas this weekend for a friend's uh, my cousin's bachelorette and bachelor party which was interesting <laughs> it was fun. It was really fun. But Vegas, you know, it's weird. It was so hot. 105 degrees. It was crazy. Um, what was I looking for? Oh, yeah. I want to look up pictures of the pl Plesiosaurus. i got to get better at saying that, too, to see how big the fins should be. Looks like maybe the front fins and the back fins, maybe we want different sizes for them. No, actually, they're pretty much the same size. Okay, let's do one more round here and see how that looks. Yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, let's do... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fold it in half. And uh, we're going to chain one. And then I'm going to work into the next stitch in the round. And the last stitch in the previous round, which is going to be right there. And that way we can seam this together and crochet around simultaneously. And let's see how that goes. One, we'll do single crochet one, and then we'll do, actually we'll do two single crochets. Yeah, because see, that's gonna make a little pointy end. So we'll do two single crochets, and then we'll do an increase into the third one. One, and 
two, and I'm crocheting into both sides simultaneously to kind of sew it together. And we'll see how this goes. You see how it's kind of like making that thin shape? This might work. This might work pretty good. Um. Oh yeah, someone had a question. Uh, uh, how do I understand how many stitches you have to do with a new pattern? I'm a beginner with Amy Groomy. Sorry, but uh, it's okay. Um, how many stitches you have to do with a new pattern? I mean, in my opinion, patterns can be however big or small you want them to be. Uh, as you know, some of my patterns are like super duper tiny. Uh, that it's only like, like 50, 60 stitches in total. Um, so I think the answer to your question is you don't. Uh, especially when you're doing a new pattern, you don't know how many uh, stitches is going to be. Now, if you want to know how many stitches per round, it's usually written at the end of the rounds. So if you are like following along in a pattern, it's written in the end of the rounds. But if you're making up a pattern from scratch, uh, you, I mean, you don't usually know how many stitches you're going to have until it's done. All right, so let's go. We're gonna do one more stitch here. Now, see how I'm keeping the tail end at the end there? That's because I know I'm gonna need both of these ends to sew it together once we have it finished. But let's see how this is gonna go. Like that. I can't get I can't get this last stitch right. So it's this, and then the stitch on the opposite side right here. And obviously, we're gonna make four of these. So we'll have some more opportunities to like kind of do it better in the future. But this I think might work for a first one. I actually, I kind of feel like we should just stop it here so that it has something to sew it on with. Cause that looks pretty good I think, right? Or should we make it a little bit further and then, I mean that's, that's really, that's really not bad. Really not bad. The bummer that I'm gonna have is that one side of the fins is gonna have this bottom. Uh, see how look look at these stitches on the bottom here. Actually, let me zoom in. This is a good good thing to look out for, especially if you're writing patterns. So the bottom of the stitches are gonna look like that, and the top stitches are gonna look like that. So we might want to do something with the other fins to like flip it around instead, so that it looks similar. So we have, which means we might have a right and a left fin. For the pattern which could be a problem but you know you know it's worth a shot um all right let's do yeah let's do that last stitch here uh and see how it goes and if we don't like it we can just uh take it out so i'm thinking we'll do an increase into this last one to just look at it but that would sew it on like this which i think is maybe a little too like it's too sharp of a connection you know we only if we just connect right there it's just too thin so i think i think we should actually take that last increase out and instead just cut it there and then sew it on with that last stitch so instead we're just going to chain one to that last one cut and then pull through i don't think we need too long of an end either but I think this will work for, at the very least, our front or our left side of the fins. We just might need to do something separate for the right side of the fins. I think that's a good size, though. Right? How do we feel about that? How do you guys feel about that? You like this? Any kind of any kind of feedback? Cool. <laughs> All right. Humid and hot. Yeah, it's pretty humid here, but it's not actually hot. It's hot in this room because I don't have the windows open, but it's not that bad. Ooh, Molly, good question. Um, I'm going to take this stitch marker out, by the way. Now that we have one of our fins done. I think this will work for both the front and the back fins can work with the same one. I think they can be equally as big. That won't be a problem. We might want to make this back tail a little bit longer, but... You like it. You like it. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to make this body. So, like, imagine these legs aren't there. I actually think 
the body of the brontosaurus might be perfect. It's a pretty long neck. Maybe we'll add like one or two rounds to the neck. But, you know, that's actually pretty. Actually, I don't even think we need to add any rounds to the neck. I think the body can almost be the exact brontosaurus pattern, but with a longer face. And then the tail just slightly longer. We'll just add one or two more rounds into the tail. But it's pretty good as far as, like, the look of it. So what we'll do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the brontosaurus pattern on my phone. Um, and this is actually a good opportunity for me to show you how I do that. Ignore all the notifications because there's about a million of them. Um, I'm just going to go to the Club Crochet app. It's really just the, um, the website that I added to my home screen on my phone. Uh, but it works pretty well there. Oh, usually it does. It's taking forever to load, though. Maybe I screwed up the... Is there an update? Oh, whoopsies. I saved the wrong page. Okay. We'll just go straight to clubcrochet.com. And I'll log in real quick. Okay. So we're going to pull up the brontosaurus pattern real quick. Say brawn. I think that should get us there. Okay. And we'll we'll work off of just like so I know how many rounds to do and what I did in the beginning of it. So spikes, long legs. Okay, so we want to start with the body. So I did six, nine, twelve, and then twelve times, twelve four times. So instead, this time we want to make it a little bit slower. So we actually might do because we want a pointier face. You know? So we'll do... I think I'm going to start with less than six stitches in the first round. And see how that goes. So we'll start with... Um, we'll just start with four stitches in the first round. Usually I like to keep it pretty uh, similar. Uh, I mean, pretty even. So like, if I do six stitches in the first round for the brontosaurus, this time I want to do four stitches in the first round so that I have like an even number to increase. So that it increases evenly around it. Another op another way we could do this is, actually, you know what? Let's look at a picture of them again. How pointy of a nose? Cause that's a pretty pointy nose. All right, yeah. Let's try. Let's try. Let's keep the plan. Let's keep the plan as the um, uh, as what we're going here. Oh, Tina! Thank you so much for your tip. I just saw the tip. Thank you. Uh, here, let's put out, we were talking about it before. I think it's a great opportunity. Um, I actually think I have a better one of these somewhere because this one's a little bit messy. Yeah, I do. Where's the better one of these? Oh. Okay, well, I don't know where it is right now, but we're going to put a pterodactyl out for you. This is the pterodactyl pattern that we're working on for the site. Um, I think I want to simplify this one a little bit uh, and add... Uh, it's got a tail in the finish pattern that I didn't add on this one. Um, but this one can be a little complicated. I would say this one's comparable to, like, the Stegosaurus, maybe. Because there's pieces that need to be sewn together. Um, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We'll keep it right there. Thank you for your donation. Have I made a jellyfish before? I have made a jellyfish before. Uh, you're struggling making the tentacles look good. Uh good technique for tentacles is just doing a long chain and then slip stitch either either slip stitching into the back loops of all the chains or just single crocheting all the way up them because it'll make it like spin around and twist around how big of a jellyfish are you making though Four. oh my god casey casey Casey, good question. Check this out. Check this out. I got some. This is a secret. This is a secret. You just ask the perfect question at the perfect time. Um, I made for my friend Nicole. Uh, uh, it was her birthday last week. And so what I made for her birthday was I made a little tiny hat for her dog, um, which is about the size of a cat. And then I realized, oh, my God, this pattern's so good. So I made it again for Jimbo. 
Um, and I'm going to work on it. I'm going to get it onto the website soon. Is Obviously, I have the pattern, the rough draft written, and I'll add that to the website soon too. Um, but here is the other one. I shipped her the first one, so I had to remake it before I shipped it. But it's a little tiny cowboy hat. Look at it. It's perfect for a cat. I haven't sewn in this end yet, but it's pretty adorable, right? I made this last week. First try pattern too. I'm really proud of that. Really proud of it. Look, it fits my head. <laughs> Um, but yeah, good question. Yes, I have made some hats, and I definitely think that making pet hats is going to be a, a thing that I'm going to start doing more often in the future. Um, okay, Cooper had a question. What was the last round on the fins after the increase? Um, okay, so uh, the last round, uh, when we seamed it together, I chained one, and then I started working into um, the stitches on both sides to seam it together uh i did two single crochets and then an increase and then two more single crochets and then an increase and then two more single crochets and then i chained one cut the yarn chained one and pulled through so the last stitch count i would say is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's only ten because it stops early yeah it's like a little biscuit um okay one, two, three, four. And then we're going to, oh, I forgot a stitch marker. See, I don't, I don't use them. I don't use them enough. Ah! Yes, yeah, Casey, definitely keeping a string. Uh, I didn't have any more elastic, but Nicole, I gave, uh, I put the last of my elastic on the bottom of Nicole's hat. Uh, and then so that way she can make it any size that she wants for Pinky and then uh, that's her dog's name and then like cut the yarn But yes, I totally agree. It needs a it needs something to keep on the animal For sure For sure um, It's the placement of the tentacles you're having a problem with uh, sew them to the top of the tentacle or top of the jellyfish, you know, like if this is the top of the jellyfish, sew them right there. So it comes straight down the bottom of it. If you're having a problem like sewing it on so that you can't see the stitches from the top, try sewing only into like the backs of the stitches, which might be a little complicated. You might need to like um, turn your turn your jellyfish inside out to sew it on like that. But I think that's probably your best bet. Um, okay, so I did round one of the face. We did four single crochets in the round. Round two, I'm doing a single crochet and then an increase two times to go up from four stitches to six stitches. Uh, and we're going to hope that makes the face a little bit pointier. We'll see how it goes, though. No, oh, thank you, Cooper. Okay. See, so that should make the face, like, pretty pointy. It should be pretty nice crack our neck Whew. oh my god funky s smell <laughs> I like your name that's a good name do you uh, your daughter keeps asking you to make a crocheted hat for your for their favorite toy that's perfect especially because you could make that little that cowboy hat you can make this cowboy hat in a uh, so many different sizes you use bulky yarn it could be about like that big maybe like a like a hat for like a baby <laughs> um and then you could use really small yarn you could probably use um like probably use like this and you can make a hat that's like a cowboy hat that's like that big um, but i think what i'm gonna do when i come out with this hat is i'm gonna do a pattern for a miniature version so this would be like a small cowboy hat and then we'll do a mini cowboy hat also because that way I like I like to make other hats that are perfect for my little miniature characters and this is a little too big for my miniature characters. So I think it'd be fun to do a cowboy hat that's small and then miniature and then do that same thing with the other one. So we have like a there's a chef hat that I have. It'd be fun to do a small chef hat in addition to the miniature chef hat that I already have a pattern for. Stuff like that. So that way we can have more pet hats. Okay, so uh, that was round two of this. Uh, we increased up to six stitches around. And now for round three, 
Um, let's just increase up to eight stitches by doing two single crochets and then an increase two times. And let's see how that goes. We could make it bigger, but so the options for this round is we could either increase up to eight stitches, which is what we're doing right now, or we could increase it up to nine stitches by doing a single crochet and then an increase three times because we had six single crochets in the round prior. So it, ev it, it can evenly increase up to nine stitches or to eight stitches pretty easy. Um, the difference is gonna be that, where did I do with that little piece of paper? Whatever, oh, here it is. Okay, so the difference is if we did, so we started with four stitches and then we went up to six, which makes it go like that. And then if we continue increasing at the current at our current rate, if we keep increasing at our current rate of just doing two increases per round, then it'll keep increasing at the same rate. So it'll be like that, you know, for the face, like more like a V. If we did nine stitches instead, if we start with four, we go up to six, and then we wanted to increase it up to nine stitches, it'll be three increases per round instead of two, which will make it go slightly more like that. So you can see how it kind of like, will make it more of like a, like more like a teardrop than a, you know, perfect uh, increasing up like kind of like a triangle. Instead we would make it more like a teardrop, but I think we want this more. That's what I'm thinking, but let's see. Let's see what happens. So we'll keep doing that. With the goal being that we want to get up to 12 stitches in total. So that was round three, up to eight stitches. Round four, we're gonna try going up to 10 stitches by doing a similar thing. One, two, we're gonna do three single crochets and then increase two times. And go from there. Oh, Takayaki, thank you very much. I'm, I definitely need to rework that pattern, uh, the pod people pattern so that it's more customizable. That's a big goal of mine. Um, that actually was a big goal of mine this year, but I don't know if I'm gonna to get to it now. We've just got too many projects in the air. One of which being Lava Run, actually. A game that I'm designing around these dinosaurs. So you see how this is gonna be different? See this one, this one it had like, it's gonna be like slightly pointier. Yeah, you get it. Um, okay, let's pull our stitch marker up and keep going. Uh, that was round four, we're on round five. Round five, I'm gonna do uh, increase up to 12. So we're gonna do four single crochets and then an increase. One, two, three, and four, and then our increase. Um, I did just think about how we can make this different than the brontosaurus pattern also, which is that the neck of the, well, maybe not, Never mind. I was gonna say the neck of the ply plyosaurus is more like um, straight than the brontosaurus. The brontosaurus is a very crooked, like a curved head to it. We can try to make it a little straighter instead. See how it's gonna be a little different. That's a good start, I think. More like a little pointy triangle face instead. That's a good difference. You know, we want to have a little bit of something different here. We don't want it to be the same exact pattern as the brontosaurus, but it is a good good uh, thing to work off of. Um, now I think we're at 12 stitches around, so we can just do like two or three rounds of just single crochets, maybe even four. So we'll do a couple rounds of just single crochets see how many we need and then we can add the eyes the good thing also is that our increases are on either side of the body uh, or either side of the head so I think uh, it'll be a good indicator for where to place the eyes so that they're on e so that they're on either side of the head and it's not gonna be too complicated but we'll see let's 
pretty good. Pull the stitch marker up, keep going. Okay, now it's about a million bazillion degrees in this green room that I'm creating, so I'm gonna open this window. Don't let me forget, because if I let the cat in here with this window open, that cat's gonna want to escape. And we do not want the cat to escape. <laughs> Look at how the, the newest tip, it's like gone way over it. It's funny. Hi Lem, how are you? Okay, so we did one round of this single crochets. Now I'm doing a second round. Kind of like squishing the front of it down so it's a little less pointy, just slightly. But you see, the idea is it's going to go like this and then go in. So we want it, I think about like right there is the length of the head, which would be four, four rounds of 12, which is actually the exact same as our, um, our Brano. So that's good. That'll be nice. But yeah, the head, okay, so yeah, I, I do think, I do think we have one big difference that we can do with this pattern. The big difference being that on the Brontosaurus, we did increasing and decreasing in the neck so that it has like this kind of S shape, just like barely, but it's got like a bit of an S shape like that. We don't really need that for this one because because the Plesiosaurus is more like that, like really straight, you know, so they're like aerodynamic or water dynamic underwater dynamic um so i don't think we need to do much shaping in the neck which is kind of cool and we can still put our pipe cleaner in there so we can add some shaping if we want to but it'll be nice to uh, make it way simple way simple uh i'm gonna cut this thread too oh good idea thank you johnny Danny, sorry. Close the window. Thank you. Um, yeah, because I don't want to. I don't want to forget that. All right, so we're gonna do two more rounds of single crochets for this head, and see how that goes. Jim's trying to make the Triceratops. Hey, Jimothy, how you doing? Okay, Takoyaki, I'll see you later. I gotta start figuring out a better time for you to join these live streams because it's always so late or so early over there, huh? And hey, again, if you guys haven't yet, please like this video down below um, if you like what, what's going on here. If we get enough likes, then maybe I'll start making a design live stream more regular you know because uh i love doing these design live streams they're way cool but i just didn't know if it was going to be something that people would like a lot of or not okay i actually think three rounds might be enough this looks like it might be far enough to we can to where we can actually already start decreasing it down and add the eyes in what do you think um, I am on, what round am I on? I'm on round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the body right now. Oh, you broke your nose? That sucks. You get in a fight? Um, okay. So yeah, we want to decrease it down now. And the head of the Plyceus, Plyceus, the Plesiosaurus. You know what? Let's look up how to pronounce this. Pronunciation. 
Okay, here. Ready? You might be able to hear this. Plesiosaurus. Did you hear that? Plesiosaurus. That's what we're making. The Plesiosaurus. Um, Alright, so now we can decrease it down. And uh, we don't have to do anything fancy. We can actually decrease it evenly on every side. So that means for our round... I think we're on round... Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're on round nine. And for this round, I think we can just decrease it evenly and do, uh, so if we had 12 stitches around, we want to decrease it down to nine stitches around. We want to do one, two single crochets, and then an invisible decrease three times. Just one. And here's our second repeat. Goal being that we want to decrease it down to nine stitches so that it has a smaller neck. Um, two, yeah, perfect. I'm gonna decrease it down. All right, so now we're at nine stitches around. Let's see how it's gonna look. Yeah, so see, it goes down in like that. And then we'll make it go a little bit more, and then we'll just make it really long. Uh, but next, uh, let's add our eyes before it's too small that we can't add eyes anymore. Um, I totally forgot to bring the stitch marker up for that last one, but that's okay. Uh, where'd I put the eyes? Right here. Shannon, how are you? Two eyes, and close the back things. By the way, if you'd like to, we have these in the shop right now. Um, they're called, they're, I just call them a bottle o eyes. Uh, we have them six millimeter, eight millimeter, and 10 millimeter, and it comes with, I think, like 100 eyes. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Good way to support the channel if you haven't. Uh, if you want to, rather. Okay, so I think the eyes we want to make, let's look at our pictures again. Let's, let's go back to this picture. Um, right here. And take a look at it. Oh, it's a little too small. Let's go. I'll just go to the inner, into the internet. The eyes are. Okay, so the eyes are a little higher up. So we can't do it evenly on both sides, but we can use our increases to give us some kind of idea of where it would be. Maybe we'll go off of this increase in the center. And we'll go a couple stitches over. So like right here and does that look that looks like a pretty good spot actually huh that was a pretty good one so it's either there or one round up but I think it needs to be a little closer to the front of the face so I think that's actually pretty good um, so that's gonna be and then one right here so they're a little higher up evenly placed on both sides uh, you know what, I think that their first eye needs to be one more stitch over. Let's do that. Let's try that. Uh, yeah, actually, that's pretty good. That looks pretty cute. Pretty well shaped. Kind of got a snake look going on, but that's, you know, that makes sense. You know, and then we just do really long. And they're a little higher up. They're not perfectly even. So uh, for the written pattern, this is going to be in, uh, we place the eyes into round five. Between rounds five and six, into stitches. One, wait, one, two, into stitch three and seven, eight, three and eight. Uh, for, that's for you, Cooper. Okay, so we got nine stitches. Oh, wait, we need to lock the eyes in place. Doi. The doi. Yes, we're making a plesiosaurus. A plesiosaur. It's going to take me forever to like, can say it right. You know, this was actually suggested by um, Sir Pearl Gray yesterday, too, on Instagram. Uh, by the way, if you haven't followed on Instagram, you should totally go follow it, us on Instagram. Uh, it's just official, wait, at club.crochet. That's, that's our um, Instagram handle if you haven't followed that yet. 
But Sir Pearl Grey actually commented on yesterday's post saying, you should make a plesiosaur. So that's pretty cool. Um, will this pattern be available? Yes, it will be available uh, probably not till August because I want to do like a video tutorial for it and we want to test it out. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some slight changes uh, between now and then anyhow. But I think that's pretty good for the start. What do you guys think? Do you like what's going on here? I think it's pretty good. You know, it's, it's different enough too. Keith. Now Keith, dinosaurs. We make it a dinosaur to keys. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, so last time we did this, we decreased down from nine, or for the, we decreased down to eight, and then again to seven, and then eight, no, no, no. So, I think our neck for our plesiosaur can be, you know what, we'll decrease it down one last stitch at, um, gosh, it really should go right here, right in between this round, which kind of sucks. Oh, actually, you know what, we'll put it at the top of the head. Okay, so what we'll do is, for uh, our next round, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, and then a decrease, and then all the way around. So three, four, so one, two, three, four single crochets, and then we'll do an invisible decrease after that, and see how that goes. The idea is we wanna decrease it down to eight stitches around, because I think nine is a little too thick for our neck, but eight should be pretty good. Uh, and then after doing that decrease, we want one, two, three single crochets to get to the end of the round. Uh, ending at eight stitches around. So that should be our our thickness for our neck. See, and it, and it made the top go down a little bit, which is, I think that's all right. You know? And then we'll just do like that many single crochets. So just like a bunch of rounds of single crochets uh, all the way till, yeah, it does look like the head of a snake. But honestly, like, look at this. Let me, let me share, let me see if I can share this screen. It look like the 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 dinosaur looks like the head of a snake. Um, let's see. Hold on, I gotta find it. There. Yeah, see. They look like they got a head of a snake. They're very got a very sharp face. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's just the dealio. All right. Uh, now that we're down to eight single crochets around, uh, we just finished round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, let's do like at least three rounds of single crochets. Probably, actually, let's do, f I'm going to say four rounds of just single crochets after that. If I can get into this next stitch. But you know what, let's, actually, before I even do that, I'm gonna stuff the head just a little bit. It might make it a little bit easier for us to uh, manage. Oh man, I missed, I missed some kind of conversation here about someone <laughs> beating someone up. Oh my gosh, Rebecca. You're crazy, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. You're lucky that you're lucky that Jim decides to still be your friend after you bopped him in the face. <laughs> All right. So I just stuffed the head slightly. And we'll just keep going around. Core stitch marker up. And uh, yeah, let's let's just rock and roll. We got a few rounds of just single crochets. Um, I think four rounds at least, maybe more. Uh, we might want to decrease it down again, but I think eight actually seems like a pretty a pretty good uh, thickness for the neck. But we'll see. We'll see. We can always change that. We'll have to go back, you know. And we'll probably have to make a couple of these. 
TBH. Especially if you want to add like a, a stomach color change to it. But I don't think we will really, I don't know if we're actually going to do that or not. It's pretty cute though. Because the, the actual dinosaur looks pretty scary. Stitch marker up. I think I'm going to leave the stitch marker on the outside for this next round because it kind of gets annoying with it being on the inside. Casey, can't wait till the pterodactyl pattern comes out. They're your favorite dinosaur. I love pterodactyls too. I think they're super cool dinosaurs. Especially because they look so similar to, to like animals of today. Um, right now, the, uh, the, um, what are those big, the, uh, they're big birds and they got like a big face with like a big open mouth. Like so they can catch fish. Called, um, they fly in a V. I'm having a brain fart. Pelican. Got it. Um, right now the pelicans are flying north for the summer. Uh, and they are they look very dinosaur like especially looking out and seeing just like hundreds of them flying around flying up north like I swear if I look up let's see if I can see them right now oh, I, can't. I, I don't have a very good view but yes there are so many pelicans right now flying north and all I keep thinking is those are basically tiny pterodactyls <laughs> They're very, very crazy looking. Um, okay, so that was four single rounds of single crochet. We need to way longer than that, though. Yeah. Because we want it to be, at the very least, down to there. So. I mean, we can either go down around. You know what? No, I don't think we need to make it any skinnier of a neck. I, I kind of like it being a little bit thicker of a neck than the brontosaurus. So I don't think we need to decrease it anymore. Um, we'll just keep doing, we'll do four, at least four more rounds of single crochets. So meaning eight rounds of single crochets total. And then we'll keep going from there. You never seen a pelican in person, Cooper? They're very large. I've seen quite a lot of pelicans in person. We see them all the time. They're a little spooky, but they don't really, they don't really attack or bite. They're, they're relatively nice. What are we going to name this one? Well, I guess, I suppose we could name it. I didn't really think about naming it, but yeah, we could name it. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's a plesiosaur, but we can name it, uh, I don't know, Bessie the Plessy. <laughs> we can come up with some names. Got any ideas? Let me know. already long tube neck I mean this would be a super easy snake by the way look at that like if I just kept going it like super duper long boom we got a snake Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for letting me know, Sunshine. I will definitely turn the music down a little bit. Got a little loud. Sorry about that. How's that? Better? Well, 
this will be our eighth single cro or eighth round once we're done with this one. So we can see if this is gonna be long enough. Is it still loud? I can turn it down more. Let me know if the music's still loud. Okay. It's pretty good. We're basically making Nessie. Um, I think we need at least, I think we need two more rounds just to make it a little longer. So we're doing 10 rounds total of single crochets, uh, it, eight single crochets per round. So it's 10 rounds. One. I guess I should count my stitches again. Four. And actually, okay, it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, we're good. Um, yeah, uh, Froggy, that's what we voted on earlier was uh, between those four dinosaurs, what dinosaur did you guys want me to, uh, um, did y'all want me to design today? So it ended up on the Plyceosaur, Ply, Ply, on the, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we need pronunciation again. On the, we ended up on the Plesiosaurus. Plesiosaurus. <laughs> Thank you, Robo Google, one, two. Six, seven, eight. Pretty easy. All right. So now we've got, I think, 10 rounds. Let's count it. One, two, three. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, we only have nine. Maybe we should do one more to make it an even 10. It'd be pretty long then. But it'd be nice to have an even 10, you know? Is that too long? If we started increasing up here... Actually, I don't I don't know if we should do any... Let's just... Let's see. Well, you know what? If it curved... If it curved the head... Yeah, okay. Never mind. Never mind. We'll do one more round. One more round. Uh, it's still going to be 10 rounds, but I only did 9, so... And I'll count the rounds after this, by the way, to keep us updated. One, two... Three. Okay, let's see. One more round. Or one more stitch. Okay. Okay, so next thing we want to do is uh, count our rounds. So we got round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We just finished round twenty. Wow, how perfect. What a perfect number. All right. Uh, next thing I want to do is get a pipe cleaner. Doesn't really matter the color. But I know I'm going to want to uh, stuff a pipe cleaner in the neck so that we can curve it any which way we want. So that's good. Uh, and then we also want to um, begin increasing it up. And let's look at a picture again. Okay, so we want to increase it. Hmm. 
you know what? For the increasing, I think we're going to repeat exactly what we did for the brontosaurus because I think I want that same kind of shape of where it kind of goes like up and then has a little bit more on the top there like that. So we'll pretty much copy that one, which means we need to start by increasing it up to nine. And, you know, so if we increase it on the, yeah, we'll increase it there first. So yeah. Okay, cool. Um, we're basically going to copy the body of our brontosaurus now. So we're going to do two single crochets, one, Oh, wait, you know what? Hold on. We are going to do that, but uh, we need our stitch marker. And so I'm going to undo all these stitch marker rounds. And I'm going to pull our stitch marker back up to the top. Now we can see what it looks like without the stitch marker, too, which would be nice. A nice added benefit. There we go. Oh. Fight this stitch marker's fighting us. There we go. Cut off the part that I just messed up. All right. Hold our yarn there. Like that. We'll just pretend it's not there and we'll work into the next stitch. Okay. So that's going to be one. And then two single crochets and then we'll increase and four two single crochets and increase and then uh, single crochets all the way around to get to nine Okay, so that brings us up to nine stitches around. Or I think that was round 21. Nessie, that's a good name. That's a good name. You know what? I think it's time. I'm gonna drink this um, probably disgusting, disgusting coffee. I'm getting a little sleepy. Oh, it's bubbling. Okay, it didn't get on my hands. Oh, yeah, that does not taste good. I'm gonna chase it with some LaCroix. Ugh, coffee. You gotta have it, but you don't gotta like it. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, so now that we increase up to nine, uh, now it's pretty easy. We're just gonna increase it up to 12. So we're gonna do uh, let's do two, one, two single crochets, and then an increase. And then we'll repeat that three times. One, two, and then our increase right here. Off. And then one more time, two single crochets and an increase. Two, and then our increase. All right, and that's gonna bring us up to 12. You can see how we're starting to increase the body up a little bit. Um, that's, that's the shape that we're going for think right yeah right or is that it oh boy I can't remember if that's the bottom of the top I think that's the bottom just like that and we go like that we go like that um, okay next thing I'm gonna do let's fold this pipe cleaner in half let's get this part done with just to see how long we're gonna need it okay and then I'm just going to start spinning the pipe cleaner up to double its strength. So I'm just spinning it around like that.
to make it double as strong. Make it easy. Uh, give it, you know, just give it a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra oomph. A little extra oomph. Hey, you want to know what's something kind of cool? We're going to be in a magazine, a, uh, a, a magazine in Europe soon, called um, Let's Get Crafting Magazine. I think that's what it's called. That's going to be kind of cool. Um, all right, so next I'm going to fold this down, and then actually I'll just go around it backwards this way, and then fold it this way. The thing that I like to do with the pipe cleaner is make it so there's two sharp ends like that, so when I stuff it into the head, it's hard to pull it out of the head by accident. I'm going to do uh, a few more rounds here before I stuff this into the head, though. Okay, so we just did a round where we went up to 12. Let's look at the pattern again. Uh, and let's go up to... Okay, so we're going to go up to 15 now. So from here on, I think it should be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I don't think we'll... I don't think we're gonna do anything too tricky. Uh, three single crochets and then increase three times. That's what I'm going. That's what I'm going to do. By the way, what are you guys doing today? Anybody else? What are you guys? Are you guys crocheting? Anybody else making this uh, dinosaur with me? Uh, are you making anything else? What's your, what are you doing? What's up? How's your Wednesday going? Two, three, and then increase. Five. And let's look at how this is going. Yeah, see, we're going to want it out like that. Okay. That's probably enough. Now we can put this in the head. So I'm just going to slide this all the way down to the top of the head. As far as I can. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to try to add stuffing around the pipe cleaner. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pencil to kind of shove it above the pipe cleaner so that the pipe cleaner is held up on the bottom of the neck um, and then add some stuffing to it like this. Who's studying? Puppy team is studying. What are you, what are you studying? Ooh, Tassilarian is crushing a Pegasus. That's pretty dope. Danny just made Baby Yoda. Yes, please send it over. I'd love to see it. Go ahead and put it on the Discord channel. I'll show the, I'll I'll put it on the screen. In fact, if you want to show off what you're making right now, um, go to the Discord channel. You can find it just by going to clubcrochet.com/discord, and uh, post a picture into the uh, channel. Um, uh, look what I made, and I'll show I'll show off some of the some of the best creations on the screen uh, when when we get a little further in the video. I will give, give people a little bit of time to post something there. Um, you can post what you're making right now. You can post what you've made most recently, whatever you want. Um, but see, now that we had our pipe cleaner there, we can shape the head a little bit easier. And we actually didn't need to do any shaping in the actual pattern, which is kind of nice. Um, I added stuffing all the way around it actually at the bottom so we don't hit that more uh, I kind of wish I had a little bit more stuffing in the tip of the head I don't know if I can get to there now but let's try that's pretty good oh no I think I I think that was a bad idea well eh, it's not that bad now we need to add more stuffing in the neck though I pushed all the stuffing up Painting a daisy on a plant pot. That's fun. Well, that's that's unique. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Very cool. Did you make the pot too? No. I'm going to guess no. Very cool though. For yourself or for someone else? We're going to add... I just want a little bit of stuffing all the way down on the neck. Okay. 
a little bit more. Just a little bit. Oh, a little mushroom sprite. That's cute. That's fun. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Look at that. Now we got a little head. That's looking pretty good. This Loch Ness monster is looking pretty good, if you ask me. He's a snake. Actually, wait, that's the bot. I gotta keep remembering what the bottom and the top of the head is. Pretty good, though. Okay, let's keep going. So we increased up to 15. Uh, the next round, we want to increase up to 18. And I want to work around this pipe cleaner just for, like, one stitch. And that's just going to keep the pipe cleaner where we want it to. So I'm just going to twist it around a bit like that. And you'll see what I do. So we're going to do four single crochets. One, two. I think that's right. Four. One, two. Three. Four, and then our increase here will be after that. And then repeat that three times total. A little bit more yarn. Um, we're going to do one. And then I'm going to crochet around the pipe cleaner for one stitch. See how I'm making it around the pipe cleaner? That's just going to keep the pipe cleaner a little bit easier in, in place. Hopefully the, the felt from the pipe cleaner doesn't show through our stitches too much. But it will give us a good signifier of where the bottom of the round is. So that'll be kind of nice. And then we'll increase up. Oh, Sunshine, email me. I'll send you, I'll, I'll tell you where to ship it. One, two, three. My email is louis at clubcrochet.com. That's my email. There we go. But I think you already knew that. Okay, so we're increased up to 18 now. And that's the bottom. We got a good shape going on here, though. Good little Loch Ness monster. Maybe we should have made it green for the Loch Ness monster more. That's okay. Wouldn't it be cool if they found out that the Loch Ness monster is real? That'd be so cool. I really hope that happens. Uh, what's this round? We are on round. Oh, boy. You're going to make me count. Okay. Hold on. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, it shouldn't be that hard to count because that was 20. So that'd be 21. 22, 23, 24. I think we're on 24. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I think Cooper's got the exact, ad, uh, the exact amount. Okay. Tina's making the new unicorn pattern. Awesome. I'm super, I really like the new unicorn pattern a lot. I think it's so cute. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this next round, I'm gonna do five single crochets and then increase, repeated three times around to go up from 18 stitches to 21 stitches. So, write that down. And then increase after that. Boop, de boop. And then here's that the man these fins are actually pretty cool if we can get the if we can get it so the stitches are different on the bottom be pretty cool and i think it shouldn't be too hard i think if i just do a turn around at the very end of the round it should be fine <laughs> froggy froggy said that they found their pins by uh stepping on them one time my friends uh, i am notoriously really bad with leaving pins around i just like I mean, you guys know. You guys have seen the live stream. I'll, like, sew something, and then I'll just, like, do that. I'll, like, throw it. <laughs> and then, like, where'd that pin go? One time, my friend came over and brought groceries over because they were going to make something for dinner. And I, uh, they found a pin in the bread that they just bought, 
because I had like let it go and it fell into the bread. It's really embarrassing. I felt like a big goof, big doofus, doofus McGoofus. Okay. So we just finished that round of 21 and now we just need like six or seven rounds of just single crochets to make it really like the body bigger. I also am going to try to, um, well, never mind. Yeah, we'll just do, we've got a, a bunch of rounds now of just single crochets. So I'll just go ahead and uh, do those rounds. Uh, this is a nice, this is like a nice little break though. Get a little, little second to just chat, hang out with you guys. Have you ever tried to make a small creature that has an open mouth? Yes, I have. Actually, let me show you something kind of cool. I have made something very similar to that. Um, I don't know where the or the the upgraded one is, but I do have a rough draft of one right here. This was this was Jack Gurgle before Jack Gurgle. Um, I have a better one of these, okay? When I show you this, don't look at it and go, ew, gross. This is a prototype, okay? So give me a break. <laughs> this was Jack Gurgle before Jack Gurgle. Here's, here's Jack Gurgle now. He's obviously a much larger puppet now, you know, but much bigger. I decided to make him bigger. But originally, I wanted him to be really small, just the size of the goblins that were before. And I made it so that it you can open and close the mouth by just pulling it like this. And all you had to do was you held this loop in your in one finger like that, and then you held it like this. Or how was it? Actually, maybe it was your middle finger. And then you held it down like that. I can't remember. But you held it like with the straw, and then you just pulled it, and it opened its mouth. Hello, everybody. Nice to see, nice to see you uh, all together again. So, yeah, that was a little, little prototype I was working on. I'll actually show you. I think I have one without the. Where is it? Yeah. Here's what the prototype looks like without it on there. It's actually just made with cardboard and and straws and some pipe, some uh, pin, some uh, 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 whatever these are called. So basically what I did was I cut a straw, I used boba straws for it. I cut a straw and then I cut it in half. And then I poked, um, I cut a, uh, a paper clip. <laughs> cut a paper clip and I folded it over and I put it into there. So it's like two, halves of a paper clip so it's basically like two long U's of metal and then I put those through the cardboard and through the straw and then I taped the straw together like that the these hold it closed and then I have a thread going through the top of it goes down and then this part of the of the um, paper clip goes into a straw like that and then it comes out a little hole there and then it just, this was obviously, this is a prototype. It doesn't really work very well, but that's the general, the general idea of it. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Um, I do want to come out with something for that eventually. The idea is uh, I want to do that along with the, uh, the pod people pattern that I was talking about earlier. I want to do a new tutorial that teaches you how to make different pod people in any kind of shape and size and then an upgrade to that that teaches you how to make it into a puppet, to a little miniature puppet. Yeah, kind of cool. Kind of cool, kind of neat, I thought. Move these so I can put my foot up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sort of, sort of neat, sort of cool. Hey, if you haven't yet, um, um, like and subscribe, please, please, with carrots. It's cool. It's a, I think it's a pretty cool live stream. The music, like, totally is gone. 
No, I don't want to upgrade my iCloud. You know how many times my computer says, Hey, you want to upgrade your iCloud? I'm like, nah, dog. Nah, dog. You make me pay for everything. Oh, you make making play sets. That's fun. That's kind of cool. Good, right? Let's go a few more rounds out. Ooh. Your fro your your dad bought you a darning needle and you're crocheting everywhere in the house, so my needles are scattered. Yep, I hear that. We're getting rid of our couch uh, when we eventually move. And I'm so excited to see how many darning needles are just like hidden in that couch. Just all around. I'm sure there will be a lot. I'm sure there's going to be a lot. What day is it? Oh, it's Wednesday, doy. Da doy. Okay, there's four rounds. Obviously, we need it longer than that, though. So, at least two more rounds of this. Poor Plelosaur is just like rubbing its face on the floor. Okie dokie, Froggy. See you in a bit. <laughs> Tina. Tina, you must be behind... Uh, in the chat, just like a little bit. Jack! Poor Jules is out in the craft, or into the, in the living room right now. She, uh, she just got surgery yesterday. Um, she had to get some mouth surgery. So she is, she is out for the count. She's just chilling on the couch for like a, a week or two. Big bummer. She's okay. She's she's doing pretty good, all things considering. Poor poor Jules. She's gonna be alright though. You know you had you gotta get it done every now and then. I think this is our sixth round, just before, yeah. It's funny that you guys voted for like the biggest dinosaur. I guess the Spinosaurus would be pretty big too, but. Back, a big dinosaur. Four, five. Oh, thank you so much uh, for letting me know, Sunshine. I did not notice it. Jazzy! Jazzy, Jazzy boy. Thank you. 
Thank you. Okay, let's see. What is Jazzy? What are we putting out for Jazzy today? Hmm. 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 You know what? We don't have yet a Stegosaurus out. And uh, some people that have been in the live streams might remember this Stegosaurus from a past live stream. So this is out for Jazzy. This is Paprika. We, we named it Paprika in the live stream. And this is Paprika. Look at how beautiful Paprika is. So bright, so shiny. And now Paprika is out to celebrate Jazzy. Thank you for your donation, Jazzy. I appreciate you. Let's put these dinos up. Give them room to room to have fun. Uh, someone asked last live stream if I could start um. Uh, like if if you actually get the things that I put out when I when you donate, and I think something that might be uh pretty cool in the like very close future is if we did like a donation thing where um the top donation gets the crocheted item maybe or something like that i don't know uh but i think there could be kind of something fun about that maybe we could do like an ebay thing where you could like like donate a certain amount whatever something like that i don't know might be kind of fun Zoe remembers the Paprika live stream. Zoe. I got a friend named Zoe who plays um Super Smash Brothers uh, when I do little tournament nights. And I didn't go on Monday to the tournament, but uh, they finally, Zoe finally won the tournament, which I was like, what? I missed it. I'm bummed because I wish I saw it. Okay, so we got that round um, next up. Actually, I think that's pretty good. Right? Okay, let's look at the picture of them. Yeah, their neck is about as long as their whole body and tail. So we only want it to be about that much longer. Which means actually we can start to uh well you can start to like uh decrease it down, I think. They actually don't have as big of a tail as I was expecting. So uh yeah, we'll just follow we'll just follow along with the brown pattern and see how that goes. Oh, you bet to sunshine. We definitely were going to be making more small dinosaurs for the game. Um, by the way, the game is going to... Uh, we're going to launch the um, the play test for the game in August. So if you are... Uh, we're going to launch it first for membership accounts, and then uh, uh, and then we'll open it up after that um, to the first 500 people that sign up. And uh, you can test out my new game that I've been working on. Uh, I still need I still need to put a little bit more work into it before I put the play test out there uh, but yeah that's gonna be out in um, in August it'll be pretty cool uh, but the answer to your question is yes we definitely are going to be doing a um, more small dinosaurs for the game uh, I want to do raptors uh, a, a raptor a um, obviously the pterodactyl um, and the ankylosaurus stuff like that Yes, Elizabeth. We I do have an Etsy where you can buy our crochet kits. Uh, it's just Louis uh, Louis Loops on Etsy. Louis Loops on Etsy. Yes, and we have most of our crochet kits up on that Etsy channel too, or on that Etsy page too. Um, and then I'm also working on a second Etsy for just the club crochet in general for five, six, seven. Nine. Mm. That'll make the decreases go there. So we're gonna do a different pat. We're we're gonna switch this pattern up a little bit to make it a little bit different. We're gonna do 
because I want it to be, I want the leg, or like it to decrease on the bottom of this, not on, like in the brontosaurus pattern, because of how the brontosaurus is built, the head isn't like a different position than it is currently. So uh, we gotta move these decreases down because we want the decrease on the bottom of his belly instead of the top. So, that actually looks like a pretty good spot for it. So what we're gonna do is, um, for this round, uh, we did, We did one, two, three, four, five, six rounds of single crochets after we finished up our increases. Um, uh, to remind you, we increased up to 21 stitches a few rounds back. And then we did six rounds of single crochets. And then after the six rounds of single crochets, now we're decreasing it back down to start to build the tail. Uh, and for that, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, wait. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, we're going to do 11 single crochets and then an invisible decrease. And then a single crochet. And then another invisible decrease. And then five more single crochets to get to the end of the round. That should decrease us from 19, or from 21 to 19 stitches. We'll count our stitches after this. Let's count our stitches. And we can count our rounds actually too. That's probably a good timing. All right, so let's count. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yes, so we're at 19 stitches around now. See, it's decreasing at the belly. So we want it to go like this. Um, also, we are on round. Let's count down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 32. I think we're on round 32. I think we just did round 32 rather. So we're on round 33 now. Okay. All right, next up. We wanna do three decreases in the next round. 19 to 16. So we wanna to try to make these three decreases in a similar spot. How do we do that? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take back my last, last round. Uh, not the full round. Instead, it's gonna be 12 single crochets, invisible decrease, single crochet, invisible decrease, single crochet, invisible decrease, and then and then two more single crochets to get to the end of the round. So it's gonna be 18 stitches around for that last round, not 19. So that's gonna that's gonna be a little bit easier for us to manage. You know? Because now we're at 18 stitches and it'll be a little bit like, just it'll just be cleaner. But we did a three rounds there. Okay, so now we're at 18 stitches around. We're gonna decrease down three times evenly. Um, by the way, Cooper, you're still still with us, still still writing these down. If not, don't worry about it. I can write it down later. It's all good. But if you are, uh, that would probably be pretty helpful. All right, so if we wanna decrease down from 18, down to 15, we want to do four, four single crochets and then invisible decrease three times. Let's try that. One, two, three. We're going to go four single crochets and then an invisible decrease. One, two. Okay, cool. You and Sunshine both got it. Uh, and then we're going to do that again. We're going to repeat that three times around. Let's try that. Four single crochets, one, two, three, 
four, and then our invis will decrease. And that should bring us down to 15 stitches. We'll do one more. Four single crochets, whoopsie. stitches around. This is actually going to be, I think, even easier than the brontosaurus pattern, which is pretty nice. Because the brontosaurus pattern, I think, is pretty easy, but it's nice to have it even easier than that. Quick question. How many LGBTQIA plus dinosaurs are hidden on the website? There are... I think there's seven? I think there's seven of them. Um, they're hidden all across the website. Uh, and if you find one of them, uh, they give you discount codes. So you can use those discount codes to get discounts on the website. Uh, Sunshine is a little confused on round 32. That was the last round I did, right? I believe it was 12 single crochets, invisible decrease, single crochet, invisible decrease, single crochet, invisible decrease, and then two more single crochets, which brings us down to 18 stitches. And then our last round, I believe we're on round 33 now, was four single crochets and then an invisible decrease, repeated three times around. <laughs> British, yeah, British is one. But yeah, if you want to uh, go search around the website, uh, they're all over the place. They're on a bunch of different pages uh, to get discounts. Uh, and one of them is a pretty big, pretty hefty discount. So good luck. It's a nice little like scavenger hunt kind of thing. Um, all right, so we did, did that round. Yeah, so now we're gonna do We want it to be about that long, right? Well, let's see. Yeah, actually, we're doing great. Um, so now we are on, uh, now I want to decrease it down to, I believe we want to just decrease it down to 12 stitches around. And then we decrease really slowly after that. So we'll do that. Decreasing down to 12, uh, basically pretty easy. We're gonna do three single crochets and then an invisible decrease uh, three times around. Not too crazy. And then I'll try stuffing it up a little bit after this round to keep us on track. One, two, three single crochets, and then our invisible decrease. One more time. Three single crochets. One, two, three, and then our invisible decrease. Um, I'm gonna change this song. I don't think I think I'll get in trouble for this song. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next. That's fun. That's a little bit more fun. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think uh, B is bisexual, yes, in LGBT. Okay, now we want to stuff it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, oh yeah, okay, last, uh, another, another uh, call out. If you want to show off your um, crochet on the live stream right now, post it in the Discord channel. You can find it just at uh, clubcrochet.com slash Discord. I'll go ahead and put it in the chat right now. Discord. There you go. Go there, put it on the Let's uh, Look What I Made channel there, and then um, I will uh, show off some things after uh, once the uh, once we're a little bit further on. How about after I finish this body, um, we can uh, I'll show off some things and then we'll continue and finish up the legs and go from there. Sounds like a plan, Dan. 
All right, so now we're, we finished up that round where we decreased down to 12 stitches around. Next up, we want to uh, start slowly decreasing it down one stitch at a time, one invisible decrease per round. And I want the invisible decrease to be right at the bottom. So I think what we'll do is we'll just do, this is pretty much the bottom. And this way I'll have a little bit of curve to it too, which will be kind of nice. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do next is um, 10 single crochets and then an invisible decrease. Let's see how that goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yeah, that'll work. Ten. And then an invisible decrease. And basically, I'm just going to keep repeating that with one less single crochet before the invisible decrease all the way down until I get it like five stitches around. Four stitches. We're going to go all the way down until we get to only four stitches around. So we'll just keep decreasing that down. We just decreased down to 11. Marker up. No, I think we need just a little bit more stuffing now. Now, normally in the um, front source pattern, I like to stuff it with nickels so that it helps it to stand up a little bit better. But for this one, because it's like an ocean creature, we actually don't need it to do that. So that's kind of nice. Keep our stitch marker up here. Keep track of our rounds. Um, so the next round after that is going to be nine single crochets and then an invisible decrease uh, to go down from 11 to 10. And we're just going to keep doing that all the way around, continuously decreasing at the last stitch uh, so that the decreases are in the same spot. And it should give the, the tail just like the slightest amount of curve, which will be pretty nice, I think. I think, I think, I think. Let's find out. Perfect. Yeah, see, so it's gonna be like, shoop. You know, you know how tails sound. Kind of like, shoop. You need a hint on where to find some dinosaurs. Uh, all right, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a great hint. One of those dinosaurs is on the homepage, dude. On the membership homepage one on the membership homepage. So once you're logged in, you should be able to find it if you just go to the homepage. But I ain't gonna tell you where. You gotta find that yourself. All right, this next round uh, we're doing, I think it's eight single crochets and then invisible decrease to go down to nine stitches. You kind of see the pattern going on here. One, two, three. Four, five, oh, six, seven, we'll go eight, and then the invisible decrease after that. Down to nine. Boom, baby. All right. So now we only have nine single crochets around getting smaller and smaller and smaller. You found one already? Is there really one on that page? No way, really? You did? I don't I don't see it on that page. Oh, 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 oh. I sorry, sorry. Never mind. Okay, Storms. Good luck. Don't let your phone die. Thanks for joining.
a little bit more. I don't want to overdo it though. And then these will go like these. See? Oh my gosh, that's gonna work perfect. And then another one right here. So easy. Wow, this pattern actually turned out to be pretty easy. Or do we want it to be that way around? Let's look at pictures of the police here. What, 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 what? We want the curve on the outside, actually. So we actually, yeah, we want it like that. Okay, so this will actually be good for the right leg. Like that. Like that, and then like one right here, and then one right here, and then one right there. Pretty good, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm actually pretty excited. This is a, not a bad, not a bad. I was, I was nervous about today, I won't lie. Last night I was like, oh man, what if they choose a dinosaur and I can't make it, and I, and I just don't figure it out. But you know what? I think this is gonna work out. Um, so I'm going down again, so now I'm doing eight single crochets and then an invisible decrease. believe so I'm, I'm just decreasing it down further and further once I get to about six stitches around I'll, I'll stuff it as fully as I can um, I'm not gonna use the stitch marker anymore I know where the end of the round is and it's just getting in the way at this point so we're actually just gonna ignore the stitch marker and just keep rocking and rolling Two. So now I'm doing seven single crochets, three, and then an invisible decrease, four, five, six. Oh, actually, no, now we're doing six and then an invisible decrease. So I'm one behind. Yeah. So one more round. The tails coming together, and it'll end about right there. Let's just make sure again. That. It's a pretty good, I think it's a pretty good shape. Up. Ooh. What are we making again? We are making a Plesiosaurus. Do you hear that? Let me say that again. Let me let me let me say that again, because I'm the one saying that. It's not Google. It's a Plesiosaurus. Again, that's a Plesiosaurus. That was my that was my voice. That was definitely my voice. And not uh, Google. Alright, one more round. And then we'll and then we'll stuff it up. Uh, we we this isn't our last round of single crochets though. One, two, three, four, five single crochets. And then our invisible decrease for our last stitch. Beep, the doop. Scoop, dip, boop. All right, so now you should have six single crochets around. And now we can stuff the tail up uh, and really the whole body up as much as we want it to. We can't stuff it anymore after this, so now is your chance to stuff it or or have a have a uh, unstuffed plesiosaurus. What will happen with the dinosaurs that didn't won? I think they're going to go extinct. Probably. <laughs> No, uh, well, I'm, I think I'll still work on some of them. Um, maybe we'll have another chance. If this video gets enough likes, I'll tell you what. If this video gets... All right, so we have 145 likes. That's a pretty good amount of likes. If this video gets 200 likes, I'll do another one of these um, uh, in in August or, or July. One of those two. That sounds like a deal. Pretty good deal. Maybe for like the raptor or something. 
Maybe I'll give maybe I'll give less less agency to you guys. I'll make the choices. Or maybe I won't. And I'll just let you do you. Alright. More stuff thing. Ooh, that is a that is a stuffed up that is a very stuffed up plesiosaurus Oh, that's what. Oh, that's kind of a fun little fact, Coop. I only found one dinosaur on the dinosaur on the page. I can't find the rest. Well, they're not all on, the, on that page. They're all over the website. Look at um, look at like hard to find pages. Uh, so like, yeah, look for look for pages that are, are like look for pages like normal pages like, you know, it's on the home page. It's on like, you know, pages that you would go to. They're not, they're not, I don't think, I don't think there's any on patterns specifically, but I'm not totally sure. Our, our web designer is the one that actually put them all over the website. She told me where she put them all, but I can't remember where they're all at. I remember where a few are though, but there's a lot of them, you know? And then an invisible decrease. All right, one more round for the for the body after this one. Last round. Three single crochets and then an invisible decrease. Hard to do. One. Two. Three. And then an invisible decrease. Front loop. Front loop. All right. Cut the yarn. And now we've got our body done. Pretty good. Pretty good start. I'm just gonna make a bunch of these legs. Um, let's get this out of the way. Cooper, uh, do you have any questions about the pattern? No, they're not all dinosaurs. Some are um, octopi, some are uh, uh, ones an owl, uh, but they're all rainbows. And they each have a flag. And in, and we go out like that. Cool. I'm happy with that body. And look at that body. Yeah, look at that body. Yeah, look at that body. I crocheted it. I think it's pretty good. There's a little wienery. <laughs> Just because it's... Yeah. Anyhow. <laughs> Let's make more legs. Let's make more fins, rather. Uh, so I'm going to do one more like this. Actually, you know what? We're going to try the other way around. 
uh, to make it so that the the stitches on the edge are opposite. So let's try that first. So if I remember it correctly, it was um, six single crochets. One, two, three. We can do this actually pretty quick, I think. Four, five, six. So we're closed. <laughs> and then increase it up from 6 to 12. 1, 2. Keep that there. Hello, proud Grammy crochets. How are you? Gotta love, gotta love the rainbow hearts. This will be up to 12. And then I think we even went up to 18. Yeah, I'm sure we did. Samantha! Oh no, I'm sorry, you missed it. Well, you didn't miss all of it though. We're still working on it. <laughs> exactly so. So now we're increasing up to 18 stitches. And then we're gonna try to do something fancy here. Music got loud again. Thank you for the heads up. Actually, we're just gonna go to the next one. Jungle. Nice, nice. All right. Oh wait, I need to show off the Discord channel. Let me finish the spin now that we're halfway through it. And then I'll show up the Discord channel. Okay. So last time, for the first fin, what we did was we folded it in half, we chained one, and then started working that way. This time, we're going to fold it in half, chain one, and work... Wait, so if I did it this way, it'd be the same. So we need to go... We need to go not that way. We need to go that way. So we can turn. Wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. My brain is my brain is fuzzing this. Because before we did this way and we just kept going around. This time we're gonna turn around. And, and, <laughs> why am I having so much trouble with this? We want it to go, not like that one first. We want to first go into this one. Oh, that would have to be like that. That's not right. Okay. How do we do these? How do we do these? Turn and fold inside out? That's what I'm saying. But like, if we turn it inside out, then, then we're just gonna have the same problem, but with like in the inside of the stitches. So it'll still look, it'll, it might even look weirder because this inside of the stitches look weird too. So, we we'll have to go like that and that. No. Why is this fuzzing my brain up? Because if I need to go back that way, have it be on the outside, not the inside. Like this. Hmm. 
Okay, wait. So if we went this way, but this time we want to turn around this way. Wouldn't that be... No. I don't know if we can do this. I don't know if we can do this the way I kind of want to do it. Without doing some kind of weird stitch. It'll also complicate the way the pattern is written. I like the... Now, personally, said said Gito, I don't agree with you. I really like the word... I, I really like calling a crochet or a hooker. I think it's a good word. I think it's pretty great. Um, okay, so... Let's do... Let's just try something really weird here. If I could just crochet left-handed... If I could crochet left-handed, we'd be good. Because we'd go that way, right? So we want to go one, like that. That's gonna weird it up big time. Yeah, I don't think it's possible either. I think we just gotta do it the way we did our first spin and just deal with it. Oh well. Oh well. I mean, the other option we could do is not like, is actually just sewing it together, but that's no fun. Oh well. We'll just do it the same way, I guess. One. Two, and then do a little piece there. What's up, Tasha? How you doing? I didn't, oh man. Oh wait, yes I did crochet in public sat on Saturday. I didn't do it on purpose, knowing that it was crochet in public day, but I did it because I'm always crocheting in public. And then two. Bummer I can't figure that out, but what are you gonna do, you know? It does simplify it a lot, not making it different. And then we'll chain one, cut the yarn, and pull through. And let's look at what these both look like on the body. Let's see if this is really gonna be that big of a problem. So one will go here, and then one will go here. Yeah, it does look different. It annoys me that it looks different, but whatever. Like, what are we gonna do, you know? I can only do so much. Um, are all the patterns out that are on the screen? Uh, in a way, yes. Uh, the So these two are out at clubcrochet.com slash dinos. Um, the link is in the description of this video. These ones are currently rough draft patterns. So they are on the website, but they're in the rough drafts. Um, and they're going to be out. I'm going to try to come out with them in uh, August as a public pattern with, uh, with a video tutorial and everything. But if you are a membership, if you have a membership level account, you should have access to those, um, to the rough draft patterns. Uh, if you want to find them, I think they're just on the home page. I don't, I don't really actually know how to find those rough draft patterns anymore. You might need to just search on the site, rough draft, maybe. Yeah. So you, we're going to sew it so that the rounded end is towards it, like that. And we want it more on the bottom of his body. Maybe we should make all these before I start sewing them on. Right? Because maybe we want the back ones to be slightly smaller. We definitely want them sewed on like this, though. And then these ones here. that. 
Not bad. Okay. Let's do, um... Let me show off the Discord stuff real quick. Discord? Hold on. I'm gonna try to make it so you can't see the ridiculous amount of... Hold on. I need to get a code. Okay. Um, I have so many unread, like... I don't understand how Discord works, because there's, like, so many unread things. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Wow, these are some cute stuff. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to go boom. There we go. Okay, okay. We're going to start up here. Oh my gosh, you guys posted so many of them. Okay. That's this was today. That's pretty cute. That was today at 8 a.m. But these are from uh, when we started doing a live stream, I think. Wow. Can you see that? How does that look? Okay, let's scroll this up a little bit. Okay. What? That's dope. Is it like half a moon, half a sun? What is that? Way cool. Trash panda. Pattern. Oh, there's the, there it is. There's her baby Yoda. Very cute. Love it. Oh, Danny Phantom. Me and my brother were just talking about Danny Phantom. We love Danny Phantom. Oh, that's really cute too. That's nice. I like how you did the hair. Up oh, there's another baby Yoda with a, um, a Reese's Pieces. This is crazy cute, though. I love that. That's so cute. Oh, my God. Look at those big pants. Love that. Wait, we got to mute this. There we go. That's cute. Cozies for Father's Day. That's fun. Oh, dang. Whoa. Dragon with a mouth open. Mr. Noodle, how did you even do that? Did you just like, how'd you do that? Did you just like change, how'd you do that? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Look at those fat little mice, little chubsters. This is, this is what I first said was, oh my God, so cute. That is too cute. So cute. And then look at the little turtle. That's awesome. Way cute, you guys. Super adorable. Thank you for sharing. All right, let's, uh, we got two more fins to make. I don't think I want to make them any smaller. I think we'll just keep them the same size. It'll simplify it. And I don't think they're supposed to be any smaller than the back fins, you know? You know what, Naughty Flowers? Sometimes that's the most fun way to do patterns, though is to not write anything down and just like make it as you go um yeah sometimes i that's when i have the most fun lee um okay so no that is not how the pro uh club crochet on the same person no so what you paid for was the um you paid for just the membership option you need the pro membership option now if you want, Lee, um, we can give you, uh, we, we can sort it out. Can you just email at uh, contact at clubcrochet.com and we'll sort that out for you and we'll, we'll get it fixed up. There's there's a few different options that you can go and, and we can fix it up and, and make it all work out, right? Uh, but yeah, please email us at contact at clubcrochet.com and we'll, and we'll sort it out for you. Yeah, those were way cool pictures. Where do I get my mini magnets from? Fatima asked. I, I think you emailed me about that as well, Fatima. And I think I, I thought I responded. Um, the, you're talking about these. 
the little itty bitty miniature, these ones right here. Um, they're called Neodiminium Magnets. Um, I get them on wholesale. So I get like, it, it's like a special website that you need like a business account and you need to order a whole, whole bunch of them for them. Um, but you can get them on Amazon. Uh, I think on Amazon, they're just, uh, they're just called Neodiminium Magnets. Uh, and the size is 12 millimeters by two millimeters. Uh, that is, you can get like a hundred of them at once or something like that. Ooh, Jess, some ideas of things to make as you get better at crocheting. Good question. Um, so I'm assuming, do you want to make amigurumi or do you want to make hats? What, what do you kind of want to make, Jess? Because if you want to make amigurumi, I mean, I got a million bazillion patterns on Club Crochet that you should check out. Um, but if you want to make hats, you want to make blankets, there's a bunch of different other websites that you can go to, or not websites, like other pattern writers and stuff that make some really cool patterns. to an increase. And these fins are really easy and fun to make. <laughs> I like this pattern a lot. I should have sewn one on. Actually, I'll sew one on after this to make sure that the end of this pattern will work out the way we want it to. I think it will, though. So I always have trouble on these last few stitches. They don't want to work with me. And then we skip the last one, we chain one, and we cut it like that. All right, let's sew on a couple of these, and then we'll make our last one, just in case we need to redo it. So we're going to start right here. I think I'm going to try to make it a little bit lower than the eyes, you know? So it's like, if we were to line it up, it's like one stitch lower than where the eyes would be. Right there. We'll start with the middle stitch. Like that. And... Like right there. Is that too close up? How far up do they go? Let's look at the finished pictures of a... Hmm. Yeah, we'll go right there. Right here. I'm gonna come out somewhere on the bottom and just sew this on. See how that goes. Boop. That's not bad. All fin, yes, all four fins are gonna be made the same way. I tried to figure it out, but I just couldn't figure it out. Go there and then come out right there. I don't know, I'll think about it more. Maybe I can figure something out later, but. Uh, and then when I'm sewing it on, I'm just gonna sew on these last two stitches together. See, so I'm going like through both of these stitches at the same time. And then in. And I'll come out wherever the body one is, like that. And uh, first, let's go ahead and pull the first stitch tight, then the second one tight. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, that was like crazy easy. <laughs> that was so easy. Say it, is it? Um, I will, uh, you know what? Hey, Fatima. Wait, at Jazzy. Oops, autocorrect. Magnets. Oh, you know, yeah, we don't have them on the website yet. Uh, but we should get those on the website for sure. Oh, good night, Tina. I hope I didn't miss that too late. Okay. One fin sewn on. And if I'm being honest, pretty cool. 
pretty cool. Um, okay, then the next fin over here. We just want to make sure that it's in the same, like, general area. Like this. Far enough down. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Come out somewhere on the bottom. Ooh, my tummy's a rumbly. Why do I crochet amigurumi so often rather than clothing? Uh, I have a very good answer for that. The reason I crochet amigurumi so often rather than clothing is because uh, it's kind of hard to crochet clothing that is uh, really cool for, for guys. There's not a lot of designs out there that are really nice for uh, male clothing. So, uh, I, I personally really like crocheting Amy Groomy because I just like it. It's just a lot of fun. Um, I'd, I'd like to get into crocheting more like, like I'd love to make a sweater, but I just, I don't know. I, I also like really small projects a lot, like big, long projects really, I just get bored of them really quick. Um, so there's another reason I really like making smaller projects rather than bigger ones. But, uh, yeah, I think those are some pretty pretty good reasons. The time it takes and the, um, like, for men, there's not really many that many options. I could wear, I could do a beanie, but also I live in a very warm climate, so making clothes that are warm isn't, like, really the best idea for me. It doesn't really help that much. Let me get that in there further. But, uh, yeah, those are my answers. Yeah, and they can be a little boring to make. Maybe we should have put a uh, nickel in the body so that it could sit up better. But, oh well, that's fine. Last few legs. Um, first, let's crochet the last leg. Uh, actually, let's look at how this is going to be. See if we want to make our back legs smaller. Our back fins, rather. No, I don't think so. I think that's a pretty good size for a fin. So we got one more fin to make. And then so on. And amigurumi is addicting. Agreed, Naughty Flowers. Yes, Chubzilla would be a very good starter one, Chess. Chubzilla is a great starter pattern. A vest? Yeah, I could, cro I mean, I could crochet a vest. I mean, there, here's the thing. There are a lot of men's designed crocheted clothing out there. Uh, I just don't feel like they look super great on me. I, I, they're not really my style. Let's go with that. And that's totally fine. I've tried to crochet socks before. I made one sock and then I got so bored and I never made a second one. <laughs> I was like, I did it. I made a single sock. Two. Yeah, so we're just making this the same way. I'm just going quick since I know how it's done now. Ooh, you could totally make a big version of Chubzilla. All you'd really need to do, Jess, to make a big version of Chubzilla. Do you hear that motorcycle out there? Wow, real cool, real cool. It, it's cool because you know he has got a motorcycle. Wow. <laughs> um, what you can do to make that pattern really big once you've made it once or twice, Jess, is you could just use bulky yarn and a really big crochet hook, and it'll be really easy to crochet it very very large 
it's a good it's a good trick you can do to make big crochet really easily a lot of people do it I think on TikTok I think TikTok people do that a lot stitches and then we just need to sew these on one two wow very cool all right well this means that the pattern itself is written out I think we got it I think this pattern is good like I don't really see many issues in it other than the the fin thing but I mean that's not really the end of the world I mean, I'd like to, I'd like to fix that, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, eh? I do like granny squares, actually. I'd like to make a, a, a granny square blanket that's like a, um, like a, like a sprite, like a, like a video game sprite. I'd really like to do something like that eventually. I thought, I actually thought that would be a pretty fun like membership thing. Is if you got like, um, you just, I, I. Like every week we were like, okay, you know, you get a kit and like this week you have to make five granny or seven granny squares in one color. And then the next week you make like seven granny squares in this color. And then by the end of the time, you don't know what you're making. You just have a bunch of different colors and then we sew it all together and it turns into, you know, the sprite of something. I thought it might be kind of a fun little club thing that we could do in the future. Is that too far back? That feels too far back. Let's go like that. Let's go right there. Actually, we're going to go right here. Like that. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, f granny squares are fun and versatile. There's a lot of like weird granny squares you can make, which are kind of cool. We're going like that. That's perfect. That looks that looks exactly like where we want it to go. Oh boy, I get all excited when I'm about to finish a pattern. I'm like, ah, do it out of do it out. You know how I talk. Oh, hello, everybody. It's me, Louis, Louis Loops. Hello. <laughs> you know how I talk. My neighbor can just hear me talking right now, and she, they're probably just like, what is wrong with these people? All right. Double knot. Cut it close. One more. How exciting. How utterly exciting. Right there. Just like that. Right? Yep. That looks pretty good to me. Yeah, Mary, I can see you. I can see what you wrote. If that's what you're talking about. All right, pull it nice and tight. Try not to break the yarn because that would be not good at the end here. Double knot it. One. And two. Ayo. 
awesome. Okay, guys. We did it. I did it. Not bad for a first shot at a new pattern, huh? I think that's pretty great. You know? Here, we can let it lay down like that. We can have it sitting up more. Put the little fins down. The bummer is we should have put, like, nickels in it to, like, have it help sit up. But, you know, live and learn. Very Loch Nessie. We got... Oh my gosh. I love it. Super happy. We got a new dinosaur, you guys. Are we going to give it stripes? I mean, we totally could give it stripes at a later time. Woo. Jazzy, I do that too. I make a bunch of those little uh, frogs and I give them away. Or I hide them places. Very cool. Voila. We. Oui. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining. Again, please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if this video gets 200 likes, we'll do another one of these next month uh, with a new dinosaur. So we'll just keep making more new dinosaurs. I'll get the pattern for this on the website as soon as I possibly can. Um, I got a lot of things to do this week, but I'll try to get it ASAP. Special thanks to Cooper in the chat. Thank you so much for your help. Same thing to you, Sunshine. Thank you guys for writing this pattern down and helping me out um, and moderating and all that other fun stuff. Uh, thank you to everybody who tipped and became a Club Crochet member during this live stream. I really appreciate you. You're amazing. You keep this uh, channel alive and surviving. Um, I'm going to make another one of these in a different color soon. and Probably put some nickels in it so that it holds its weight down a little bit better. Um, but really not, like, not too bad, I gotta say. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Here, we can put a little... We'll put a, we'll put a needle in his neck just so it sits up better. I can. Yeah. There you go. Nice, it's up better. Here, we'll hide the needle over there. Right? Oh, Johnny, thank you. And congratulations again on getting married, Johnny. There we go. Look, it's sitting up perfect on its own. I didn't have any intervention there. We're going to put out really quick before we go. This is to say thank you to Johnny. Um, let's. Are you cool with another T-Rex? Let's put another T-Rex out. Look, they're in love. Put him right there. Awesome. No, it's time for you to hang up, cat. I'm not hanging up first. You're hanging up first. Well, first, before I even do that, I'm going to close the window so you don't have to worry about it. I remembered. Got it. Um. All right, guys. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. I will see you on Sunday. This Sunday, um... It's Father's Day, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, normal time for Sunday live streams. We're going to be making, I'll show you, one second. I, I had him in a weird position. We're going to be making Bigfoot Bobby. We're going to be making a Bigfoot. This is a pattern that I designed um, for my dad. My dad's name is Bobby. And so uh, for Father's Day, we're going to make him a Bigfoot Bobby. Uh, we've been doing that a few, like, a few years in a row now but it's kind of you know it's just kind of like a fun little tradition um if i was with my dad i'd spend time with him but he doesn't he, we don't live in the same place yet hopefully soon um but yeah we'll see you sunday 1 p.m pacific standard time again make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon so you don't miss it when we do more live streams uh consider becoming a club crochet member yada 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 no you hang up cat you hang up first no you hang up first Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh my god, you're so bad. Uh, no, you hang up. Oh my gosh, you're making me blush. Uh, don't. Oh my god, stop it. Stop it. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Goodbye.